A warm welcome to everyone. My name is Kamal Ennis. I am an artificial intelligence practitioner at RBG AI, Coimbatore, India. In this video, I am going to take you through the work we did on the topic geometry-based machining feature retrieval with inductive transfer learning. We did it in collaboration with the Center for Computational Engineering and Networking, Amrita School of Engineering, Coimbatore, India. As we know, artificial intelligence is gaining popularity in planning and optimization in all levels of manufacturing domain. In the modern manufacturing environment, computer-aided process planning is the link between computer-aided design and manufacturing. Today's manufacturing industries have widely adopted the reuse of machine parts as a method to reduce cost and as a sustainable manufacturing practice. Identification of reusable features from the design of the parts and finding their similar features from the database is a critical part in this process. So what are these features? In manufacturing, features are semantically higher level geometric elements such as a slot or a hole and they are different from pure geometric elements. We had two main objectives regarding this project. The first objective was to extract the geometric features from the 3D CAD models of some common manufacturing features. The second to perform an unsupervised machining feature retrieval from a database of CAD models based on these extracted features. Let us take a quick look at some projects that paved the way to the current work. Several approaches to the development of feature recognition have been made over the years. From graph-based methods to convex decomposition, some of these are still in use. A common problem addressed by these approaches was the increase in computational complexity. Introduction of neural networks revolutionized feature recognition as it is excellent at recognizing patterns and is able to tolerate noise in input data. Some of the most influential recent works on 3D data representation and feature recognition are 3D ShapeNets, VoxNet and PoinNet. But the recent major work in machining features we have considered here is FeatureNet, which is based on 3D convolutional neural networks. To train the network, the authors constructed a large-scale mechanical part dataset of 3D CAD models with labeled machining features. We have adopted this data for testing our work. Another major recent work on 3D understanding is FCGF. The authors introduced fully convolutional geometric features computed in a single pass by a 3D fully convolutional network. The authors have extracted sparse fully convolutional features and have used the Minkowski engine to handle the sparse convolutions. Their model outperformed all handcrafted features and point-net based methods and was significantly faster in computation. Most of the existing works on structuring CAD models are based on low-level geometric characteristics as input, which makes the model localized and domain-specific. Hence, we decided to use FCGF for extracting high-level features as it would result in a generalized model. Most have implemented feature recognition as a supervised classification problem. Which is, not a which is not practical in industrial applications with millions of features. But an unsupervised or a semi-supervised feature retrieval model will make it scalable and ensure its ability to handle unseen data. As shown here, the FeatureNet dataset has 24,000 CAD files in STL format with machine features from 24 common category categories found in the manufacturing industry. Now to the methodology. We extracted the geometric features from the CAD models using inductive transfer learning with a model pre-trained on fully convolutional geometric features for image registration. Then we trained the extracted features with a deep convolutional neural network and added a spatial pyramid pooling layer to handle different dimensions of input features. We performed 3D CAD retrieval using the Frobenius norm, obtained their ID and rendered them for inference. The CAD models in STL format were converted to PLY and then to point cloud data with OpenTD library. The features were extracted by passing the point cloud data through the pre-trained network. The features were of 32 dimensional in nature. Frobenius norm was used to measure similarity between these feature matrices. 
the extracted feature vectors are projected here to the 3D space over and it is laid over the CAT model. The same can be done for multi-feature 3D models as shown in the image on the right. But here we are only considering single features. And we can see the results obtained. To test the quality of the extracted features from the CAT models, they were decided to be compared with each other using a similarity measure. The CAT models were paired with random samples from each class and the difference in Frobenius norm of their feature matrices were found. Feature retrieval was performed based on this value. The accuracy and top 5 accuracy were 39 and 86%. From the result it was concluded that the Frobenius norm on itself wasn't enough to capture the similarity in extracted features. Based on these results, we tried a modified approach. The features were extracted with a CGF model pre-trained for image registration and the output was given to a convolutional neural network. A spatial pyramid pooling layer was incorporated to handle the issue of varying shapes of extracted feature matrices. The matrix norm of the output from the SPP layer was used for feature retrieval. The retrieval turned out to be, turned out to be more efficient than before and the testing accuracy increased to 86% and the top 5 accuracy increased to 95%. This is the architecture we used for learning the extracted features from the dataset. These are the training and validation accuracy and the loss curves for 30 epochs. With the new model, feature retrieval was performed with test files from different families. The files in the database were sorted based on Euclidean distance between the features of the test file. In the table, we can see that the indices of the top retrieved features along with the corresponding Euclidean distances for a test file from the family circular and blind slot. This could be visualized with the help of ViewScat library. We can see that the top two similar files retrieved are from the same family of the test file. Even though the dimension and the orientation of the features are different to that of the test file, the network successfully made the relationship. In order to check whether the network learned the geometric similarity between classes, we tried retrieval with the test files of all families. We could observe that after retrieving features from the same family, the network retrieved features from geometric similar, geometrically similar families. From the table, we can see that O-ring, circular and pocket and blind hole are all circle based families. The same was the result with the rectangular, triangular and six-sided families. From the result it was conclusive that the model could effectively capture and learn the geometric similarity between 3D CAD models of machining features even though the model was trained on 3D match data. And convolutional neural network with spatial pyramid pooling layer was good enough to deliver a feature retrieval with 95% top 5 accuracy. The retrieval model proved to be successful enough for practical applications. The feature extraction did work for multiple features on a single CAD file and it could work well in a multi-feature dataset. These are the main references we have used for this project. The link to the preprint of this paper and the link to the GitHub repository with the code for implementation is provided in the description. Please free feel to contact us on this email ID and please check out our website. Thanks for listening.